The mayor of large metropolitan city has been receiving complaints about high gas prices in the city. This is complexing since the city doesn't have a gas tax that is added to the price. So the mayor has asked one of his staff to look into this matter. We have data on prices of regular unleaded gas on a day when the average for unleaded gas in the state was 279. We're going to test this at 5% level of significance to see if there is evidence to suggest that the gas prices are higher in the city or not. So first of all, we have to form our hypothesis. So what we see here is that we think the prices in this city is higher, or at least the citizens are saying. So they're saying that it is higher than 279. And the null hypothesis therefore would be that mu is less than or equal to 279. So this is what we would call a right tail test. So remember that sign here always refers to the side of the curve that will have the rejection area in it. So in this case, we are looking at 0.05. So what we are saying is that the significance level is 0.05. Therefore, we are gonna take a sample, and we have done that. And if that sample falls in the tail area here, it means that it is too unlikely to be randomly chosen to be that way. There must be a cause for that. And that is why we will end up rejecting the null hypothesis if our p-value is very small and falls into the tail. On the other hand, if we have a sample that falls on this side of the tail, then it is a possible random variations that you see from city to city, and it's not really an indication that this city is any different than any other city in the state. So now let's look at the data. So the data is being collected here, so we're gonna look at what is the mean, what is the standard deviation, and the count, and so on, so we can cap the, the p-value. So the mean is simply the average for the values that we see here. So I'm going to use control shift down, pick the entire thing, return. And right now it turns out to be 294. Now 294 is slightly higher than 279, but as we have seen before, just because it's higher doesn't mean that this is a statistically different. So we need to do the hypothesis testing to establish that at 5% level of significance. So let's go back to our data. Standard deviation is ST. DEV.S, I will pick this, and then I will pick the entire range of the data and close the parentheses. Count will tell me the number of uh, data sets that we have here. So we have 133 gas stations that we have collected data from. Level of significance, we said it was 0.05. Hypothesized mean is that it's 279 because on, the, on this day, the price of gas in the state, average price of regular gas in the state was 279. So now I'm ready to calculate the T value. So again, the T value is X bar minus mu divided by standard deviation divided by square root of N. So now I'm going to use this formula right here and enter the actual uh, representation of it here. So it would be is equal to parentheses, x bar is right here, that's my sample mean, minus mu, that's my hypothesized mean, is right here, divided by, again, another parentheses, by the standard deviation, which I have here, divided by the square root of n, and in this case is 133, count is really my, my number of data sets, so this would be the equation that I have written on a corner about t. So this represents all the values that goes into that equation, and t value turns out to be 4.458. So again, looking at it from a perspective of our problem is that we think that 279 is here, and if this is a normal distribution, we have found a sample on this day that falls 4.458, away from the mean. So you know already that it's way into the tail. So even without really giving you the p-value, if you're that far off, you are way into the tail, the, it's practically zero chances that you would find this thing randomly. It's so unheard of that it probably will point to a cause. Um, so it's not random. Um, so I would end up rejecting. But let me just show you how we will calculate the p-value. And this is the one that I want you to pay attention to. When we're doing a right tail test, if I put the t.disd, just let me show you what happens. If I put just t.disd and I put this value along with my degrees of freedom, which is 133 minus one, and the last part is one, you will get a very large number. Why? Because this is returning this side. 
So this is 0 0.99999, the value you see here. So, so when you have a right tail test, you have to make sure that you enter this value as one minus. And then you get a value that is really small because it's one minus this that you saw. So this is practically zero. So going back, our p-values is extremely small. If your p-value is small, you'll end up rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of the alternate. So citizens are right by saying that the gas prices in the city is, is higher than the state and there should be really a reason why they're doing this if there is no city tax then the city manager needs to find out what is it that they're doing. Uh, this could be a case of a price gouging, for example, which is actually punishable. So this is how we would, we would test this. Now, again, I just wanted you to pay attention that if this is a positive value, you're not getting a p-value that is 0.99999. You have to look at, at 1 minus.